Hey! Hey, kid! Open this jar. Yes, you, sleepyhead. Hey, man, aren't you tired sleeping? <laughs> Let me out of here. Don't worry, I won't fly away. <laughs> Hi, Louis the lightning bug here. Of all the lightning bugs in the world, I have to catch the one that talks. Call it luck. Nobody's gonna believe this. So, kid, what's your name? Arnold. Arnold? My, my. I have a brother named Arnold. Sure you do. So, Arnold, old buddy, let's make a deal. What kind of deal? You'll like this. You let me go on my merry way. These jars are so cramped. And I'll teach you some important things. What kind of important things? Electricity! Great! Electricity! I don't even know what electricity is. Sure you do. You've seen lightning, haven't you? Lightning's electricity. It's natural. But you know the kind of electricity we use every day? The kind that turns on the lights, the TV, the computer, the stereo. That kind of electricity we have to make. So how do we make electricity? I thought you'd never ask. Now if you're in the dark, our lights turn on. Little Louie's gonna tell you in this little old song. So listen up close and you will see just how we make electricity. Now a deep dark mine is one place we go for uranium and chunks of coal. But the source of power that's fun for me are the lakes we build from sea to a shining sea. Here we have your dams where the waters flow and your power plants that burn the coal. We split the atoms and now you've learned three ways we make the generator turn. And that, my friends, is what makes electricity. Now we have the power moving down the line, gonna make it to your town right on time. Turn on the lights at the movie show or the buildings where the workers go. But the most common way you use power is to turn on the light, flick on the switch, pull out the knob and tune in the hit. Friends and neighbors, that is called electricity. Louis, you really get around. Pretty fast for a little bug, eh? Let's see if I have this straight. You showed me three sources of power. Right. Burning coal and nuclear power both produce steam. Right again. And might I add three other important fuel sources? Electricity is also generated by wind and solar power and by natural gas. The steam, or rushing water from a dam, turns a giant fan called a turbine. Oh, yes. The turbine then spins magnets inside a coil of wire. That's called a generator. And that makes the electricity. I've got it. Look at this. The kid thinks he's an expert. This is great. Arnold. I know what electricity is. Arnold. I know how it's made. Arnold. I can be an, an engineer. Hey, hotshot. What? You're leaving out one very important thing. Safety. Sure, electricity is a good thing, but it can be dangerous. What do you mean? Watch. Now around home, it's clear to me. You gotta play it safe around electricity. Now keys go here and fingers go here. But smart little buddies know they don't go here. Dum dum moly pugs go here. If there's one thing I know about radios and dryers, you never use them around fast to shower. I get the idea. You gotta play it safe around electricity. You gotta play it safe around electricity. Oh, yes, you got to play it safe around electricity. Wow, what a dream. It's you and me, kid. Oh, no. It is a talking lightning bug. You got it. Now get some clothes. We have a deal, remember? I teach you about electricity, and you free me from this poor excuse for an apartment. So now what? Uh, let's just say this little lesson is branching out. Okay, Louie. Why are we up a tree? Arnold, do you fancy yourself a tree climber? Well, uh, I've climbed a few. Good. Then you'll notice that this is a very good tree to climb. Why is that? Look around you. Well, it has strong limbs, and they're low to the ground. No, Arnold. It's not what the tree has. It's what it doesn't have. What? This is a good tree to climb because it doesn't have power lines nearby. Oh, yeah. Now, us lightning bugs are experts, see, on safety and electricity. And one thing for sure, and I ought to know, you never fly your kites where power lines go. You never fly your kites where power lines go. Now, if you're looking for a tree to climb, you never climb trees near power lines. Never climb trees near power lines. Play it smart, little buddy. 
Gosh, Louie, I never think about power lines when I'm flying kites. Now's a good time to start. When you fly a kite, just remember these three things. Find a big open field with no power lines nearby, get a good gust of wind, and don't forget the string. It's a great day for kite flying and a great day for sailing. Ready, gang? When your daddy and you go to sail for the day, make sure the power lines are far away. When your daddy and you make the house look fine, don't raise ladders or antennas near power lines. Hey, if this lightning bug doesn't raise his antenna near power lines, no way! You gotta stay away from power lines. <laughs> Are you trying to get my attention? Yes! I just thought of another safety tip we should cover. What? Well, I, I see you can read. Shh. <laughs> I'm not allowed for such a little bug, you know it? I, I get carried away. Anyway, since you can read, do you always pay attention to signs that say, Warning, keep out, danger. Sometimes. Sometimes is not enough. You have to obey what the signs say all the time. Uh-oh. I feel a song coming on. You got it. Watch out! When the sign says danger, the sign means scram. And those high-voltage signs mean move on. Move on, man! When the sign says keep out, you gotta keep on keeping on. And the sign that says warning says it's time to get along. Yeah, you gotta obey what those signs say. You got to obey what those signs say. You gotta obey what the signs say. You got to obey what those say. Now, what did I say about lightning? That it's a form of electricity and it's natural. Smart boy. So now have I learned everything in our lesson? Not quite. This storm reminds me of one other very important thing. What's that? Well, during storms like this one, high winds and lightning will often blow trees across power lines. That knocks the power lines to the ground. And whoo that can be dangerous. Really? Sure, haven't you heard of downed power lines? I don't know. Come a few bars for me. Whoa! These power lines have the blues. Cause they're feeling down We're going to blues Cause we're feeling down So when the lines are down Don't hang around When we're down Don't hang around Sing it, Louie! When lines are down Don't hang around When lines are down Don't hang around When lines are down Don't hang around My suggestion What's the matter, partner? Well, Louie, you've taught me a lot about safety and electricity. Now, I know I'm supposed to let you go free and all. Because we had a deal. Because we had a deal. But, well, Louie, I'm really going to miss you. Well, Arnold, I'm really going to miss you too, but I have a job to do. I have a lot more friends and neighbors like you to visit. I understand. I guess it's hard to keep a good lightning bug down these days. I'll never forget you, Arnold. You're a great guy. Pick a hand. Goodbye, Louie. Goodbye, old buddy. It's raining cats and dogs out there. I probably got pneumonia or something. And look at my bulb, man, it's soaked. Oh. And I tell you, Arnold, I am not looking forward to sleeping in that stuffy jar again. But hey, I'll do anything to stay dry. Gesundheit. Thank you, Arnold. Say, you don't happen to have a couple extra pair of socks that I could wear, do you? Oh, man, my antenna are soaked. 
They feel like spaghetti. You know, real soft. I need an umbrella, but it's hard to get an umbrella for a bug. Oh, this is a drag. My wings are feeling kind of soaked and uh, a little wet. And I need a rubber suit, small little rubber bug suit with little rubber bug shoes. Oh, that would be nice.